So Rory, great news, you've signed for another two years at Scots and you must be looking forward to staying here. Yeah, I am. Uh, obviously being a Glasgow boy is good to sign for another two years with my, with my home club. Is that a big thing for you, representing your city and, and playing for your home club? Yeah, it is massively. Just, uh, like I say, coming from the city, growing up, watching when they were at Hewenden and being part of them is it's exciting stuff. How much does the club mean to you and for you to represent the Warriors? Well, when I was watching, rugby wasn't really a big thing, but it was my ultimate goal. But uh, just seeing the club grow and seeing the support we're getting is well, it's something I always want to be a part of. You've been working hard, and, and sort of now are you feel you kind of get the sort of benefit of those, getting the the, the reaping the rewards, if you like, yeah. from that hard work. Yeah, well, also over the time my time here at Glasgow, we've had some really good uh, wingers that have like quality players, so yeah, I had to bind my time, I had to work hard and train hard and learn from them, and yeah, I'm, I'm getting the rewards from it now. And you've been out you've been out for a few months with the injury, how frustrating has that been for you after what was a really good start to the season? Yeah, it's been, like, my injury came against Munster, uh, it was quite a serious injury, but put me back, uh, put me back quite uh, hard, to be honest, cause I was on a decent form and missing some serious games in the, Euro in the Champions Cup. Uh, and also with the league, and also potentially missing out in the Six Nations stuff. So yeah, it was quite a, quite a blow for me. But then I'd, you have to just get your head around it because as the nature of the sport, these things happen. So it's just time to like I just had to get my head down, rehab well, and I've managed to get myself back fit. Does it make you even more determined to come back and, and make an impact with some massive games coming up? Scarlets, of course, on Friday night, and then. You know, obviously the quarter-final of the Champions Cup, the the second Edinburgh game with them being split up, is that yeah. something to sort of aim for? Well, yeah, I've well, talked about the Edinburgh game. I've never played in the 1872 Cup before, so I am gasping for that, to be quite honest. So, But before then, I need to play well in the Scarlets game. Scarlets, so this period now is a big, big period for the club, so we can pick up some points and stay in the top four. Uh, European Cup is exciting that we're going through to quarterfinals, first time ever. So yeah, I'm I'm choking to be part of that. So looking ahead to Friday night, how much are you looking forward to running out at Scotston again in front of the home support? I just can't wait to be honest. Uh, is that chill that goes down your spine when everybody's cheering for you and all that kind of stuff? So yeah, looking forward to it. And then obviously you've been involved with Scotland. You you played uh, your part in the autumn test. Is that is that another target for you to, to get back involved with Scotland at some point? Yeah, uh, always always a target for me. But right now, it's all about playing well with Glasgow and in the Champions Cup. So then hopefully I get my foot in for the summer tour. So I, you have to, have to just forget about your Six Nations and focus on the rehab. And now I'm back, so I'm just taking it game by game, see what happens.